still remain my humble self, Adiyot Bunkwala Pop, one of the co-founder of this great YouTube channel, Biosal Fish Academy. Please don't forget to subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that we'll keep updating you on subject matters relating to fish farming. Today, I'll be educating us on how to know or identify the standard length of fingerlings and juveniles. As a new farmer, you, it is important to know the right length of fingerlings or juveniles to be stocked in your fish farm. Reason being that it is difficult to manage price or post price as a beginner. So we advise that as a beginner, you, you purchase fingerlings or juveniles that are up to standard, that are standard in length. And what are these standards? They are numbers ranges from, for fingerlings, we have five centimeter to seven centimeter. The size of the fingerlings to be purchased from any artery should be between five centimeter to seven centimeter. That is what makes it a standard fingerling. And how do you measure that? You measure from the snout, that is the tip of the mouth, to the region where the caudal fin starts. That is where you can identify that, okay, these fingerlings that I'm purchasing are standard fingerlings. And for juveniles, they range from 7 centimeter to 15 centimeter. So if you are buying juveniles or if you intend stocking your pond with juveniles, you should know that the length of those fish to be purchased must fall between a centimeter range of 7 to 15. Me, as I practically demonstrate to you the standard length for fingerlings and that of juveniles. These are our fishes here. I, I want to determine the standard length so as to categorize them on that finger list. If they are not between five centimeter to seven centimeter, they are post price or they are not yet finger. Example, they are very active. That is why they are So we have we have another six. If you notice, I am not measuring to the tail. I stop at the region where the caudal fins start from. That is the standard length of a fish. So we have zero to six. This also falls between the range of a standard fingerling. Okay, this is the last but not the least. Can we measure the length, the standard length to confirm if this falls into the range of our standard fingerlings? So we have 4.123, So it's not between the range for our standard finger lens, which is five centimeter to seven centimeter. So this is not up to finger lens yet. So let's go to juveniles. Now we want to determine a standard juveniles. Remember, I said our standard juvenile, the length for standard juveniles must fall between the range of seven centimeter to fifteen centimeter. So Join me as I show you how to measure and confirm the size for a standard juvenile. All our fishes are very active. As you can see, we have, now this is five to seven. It tells us that this fish is more than a fingerling. Now, 
is between seven and we have nine. So this is standard juveniles. As a new farmer, you can stock this and enjoy your farming exercise. Let's measure this again from the from the tip of the mouth to the region where the caudal fin starts. Now this is 11.6. This also fall under a standard length for juveniles. The last but not the least, let's confirm if this is a juvenile or not. As you can see, it's 6.4 which tell us that it's a fingerling. This is a fingerling, not a juvenile. So when you are about to purchase a fish, either fingerlings or juveniles, you should know, it is important to know the standard length of your fingerlings or juvenile, so that you have the right knowledge of what you are stocking in your farm. At Biosal Fish Academy, we are committed to giving our clients, our customers, new farmers, standard fingerlings or juveniles as demanded. And our fishes are always healthy. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell if you really enjoy what you just learned. So as we keep updating you on subsequent topics relating to aquaculture, I believe you succeeding is our own success. Thank you.